Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, you guys, to the first lessons of the presentation in English. So today, I would like to tell you the very overall information of the business presentations. Just some tools, some tips for you to make this a good presentation and try to do the presentations in front of the many audience. So the first of the slide, I'm going to ask you the very simple questions, why we need to do the presentations. So I want to give you the five purposes or the five reasons why we can apply the presentations even in the business or even in the social talk, all right? So the first of all, that's going to be contained, can be presented better using the graphics, charts, animations, or multi-media. Multi so, as you might note, in the business, there are a lot of the information about the finance, about accounting. So if you put all the information by words and you try to present it to the audience, it's going to be a little bit challenging because the audience is so hard to understand. So thanks to the presentations, so we can use some of the graphics. We even can use some charts, tables, the pie charts to present or to illustrate the information that we want to deliver to the audience. And there's a very wide sense the so one picture worth a thousand words, which is mean that a one picture can send more messages to the audience than a lot of words. The second purpose, and I want to tell you why we need to do the presentations, that the contains sometimes it helps procedures or the step and that will benefit from the visual reinforcement. What does this mean? It means that if you want to attach the feeling and you want to transfer the feeling and influence to the audience, so you need some tips and some tool and the presentations can help you to do that. It's going to connect the procedures. It's going to connect the slide to another slide. It's going to connect the content to another content is trying to maintain the emotions, feeling, and attachment from the audience to the speaker. The third reason I would like to discuss with you that sometimes that the presenter or the speaker they need to highlight some of the key points when they want to discuss the very complex topic. So it's so hard to represent everything in that the speaking way, but they need some of the picture the audience needs some of the picture, the audience needs some of the connecting idea and kind of illustrate it into that, sir, the picture, the image for them to easily understand. And the, top, the number four reason, that's the connections. There are a lot of the main ideas that you want to deliver. There's a lot of the many topics that you want to transfer to the audience. So how can you do that? Thanks to the presentations, it's going to organize your talk. It's going to organize your idea. It's going to connect all of your idea in a logical manner. And the last reason going to help you to create a framework for the content, which is mean that your talk is going to be structural. Your talk is going to be in a logical way. So when we talk about that's the purpose of doing the presentation, so you can see there are a lot of the benefits. That's why we need to use the presentations, even in the business and even in that sir, public talk. So that's why I want to introduce you. There are two software that's going to help you to do the presentations. The first of all, as you might know, there's a Microsoft PowerPoint. It's very easy to navigate, very, very easy to create. It. So basically, the Microsoft PowerPoint belongs to the Microsoft Office. So if you already have the Microsoft Office in your laptop, so easily for you to create just a one, slide, uh, one file with a lot of slides to present or to uh, demonstrate in the public speaking. And the second website, second software I would like to introduce you is the Brazi. So the Brazi seems to be a little bit new to you. Actually, it's not new quite a long time ago already. Uh, it's going to be just a mind map to make the animated presentations. What does it mean? The Brazi seem to be very adapted to the animated, a lot of the funny pictures, 
even the uh, animated clips and you can put it into the uh, Frezzy software and you can present it the information in the funny way in the happy way so I, the one thing I just want to, you to consider, if you want to do this in the formal business, so I think that the PowerPoint should be the best choice for you. But if you want to introduce, for example, like a new brand name or just a new product in a cheerful way, so I strongly suggest you to use the Brazil because of the, their, their applications and their tools to help you to, to present the information in the very animated way. And um, next one, when we talk about that, sir, the slide. So in this subject, because we're going to do the business presentations, so that's why I strongly instruct you how to do it on the PowerPoint slide. Okay? And about the frenzy, in case that you want to try to understand, you can download into your laptop and try to play with it a little bit more. So that's why you can comprehend it so very easily. Uh, so the next slide, I'm going to talk with you about the PowerPoint slide. So how are you going to present it into the PowerPoint slide? So first of all, we have to highlight the key points or reinforce what the facilitator is saying. What does it mean? It means that in your slide, you need to put on the main point. Okay, the main point that you need to present, you put it into the logical way and you try to put it like the key points, all right? We don't need to put everything we say on the slide. That is the taboo, which is mean avoiding things, all right? You should avoid putting all the contents or all the, the, the things that you want to say in, on the slide, all right? Why? Because the people, when they look into the slide with a lot of words, they feel tired, they feel stressed, all right? So that's why we should put the very short and brief point, but the key point, all right? So is this going to be the sort of things that you need to remember when you try to do the business presentations? And the next one I would like to tell you about, that's the safety area, safety area. So as you might see here on the slide, please look into the slide. In a 90%, 95% the action set, what does it mean? In the action set that you can put the header or footer, which is mean that here, you see here? So I can put the footer here. Footer, I can put it here. All right. And I can even put the header up here. All right. If you see here, we see that put the header up here on that the action safe so you see that with the action safe that the content gonna be not so important you see that it's not important information it's gonna be put into the action safe the next one I want to show you that's the framework for their title safe Sorry. the title safe is supposed to be 90% of your slide so that's gonna be the safe area for you to put a title and the content safe gonna be 85 percent which is mean we think the 85 percent there into the slide you can see you put that the real content the main content that you want to present for the audience all right because that's gonna be the safe area for you to catch the audience intention attentions so about the PowerPoint layout what does it mean the laid out the laid out this is that's the background, all right? So, which just means that every slide, you can even put the background onto the every slide, put the layout into the every slide. So what does the layout mean? The layout is the way you organize your slides, every slide. And the layout continually from frame to frame conveys a sense of the completeness, which just means that this slide to another slide need to have a consistent layout. All right, if you want to do the business presentations, it needs to be consistent. So the number one slide, the first slide, compared to the second slide, even compared to your last slide, it's going to be exactly the same layout. So that shows the professional, professionalism to your presentations. And the next one, I want to talk about the heading, subheadings, logo. So can you tell me where the logo is going to be? The normal formal business logo it needs to be on the top left of the presentations so you can see that I put that sir 
logo up there on the top left of the presentations. And about the headings and the subheadings, for example, in your main content, you have a headings and a subheadings. So the heading gonna be the main idea. The subheading gonna be that's the thing that you want to list out for the headings. Okay, so this is the way you present it. So to let the audience understand, the subheading here basically just try to explain or try to highlight the information of the headings. And the machines, the font, font size, and the color should be consistent, as I discussed with you before. Everything needs to be consistent, even for the font, font size. On the slide I present to you here in this unit, you can see that exactly the same font, exactly the font size and the color, all right? Just to show the consistent, which means that you show the professional in the business presentations. And it could be the same with the lines, the boxes, the borders, and open space. Okay, so now I want to discuss with you about the fonts. So what font style should be readable? Or what font style should be recommended for the business presentation? So I just recommend for you the three font size that's easily, you can check it out onto that uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. The first one is an Arial, and the second one is a Homer, and the third one is going to be Veranda. Okay, so that's going to be the three suggested fonts for you to use to apply for your presentations. So for this unit, I want you to use one of the three fonts here just to make sure that's a consistent for all of your presentations. And you try to make it look like a habit when you want to do the business presentations in the real life. And the font size, what does it mean? The better, the larger, the better. So what does it mean? Which just mean that if you put that the font size, every test of you, you need to adjust the font size. If the font size is big enough, this which just mean that the audience can see it clearer enough. So I just want to give you that a suggestion. For the title, if you want to do the title, and you know that the title is going to be the top of the slide, the title is going to be the top of the slide. So the title is supposed to be the 4T veranda. For example, or you can use Arial or Tahoma. Okay, so but it should be 40. All right, and the good subtitle of the bullet point is gonna be 32. All right, and the contain, the main contain, is gonna be 24 for the font size. Okay, and if you want to use as the header and the footer, so you probably use this for 12. Header and footer. Okay, header and the footer for the slide. So you use it for trial. I just want to repeat. And the content, you have to use it for the 24 font size. The good subtitle are going to be 32, and the good title going to be 40. And if you try to combine a small font size with a bold and or italic, it's not recommended. So you can see here, I just show you in the slide, the sum of the text. I try to put it say like bold, and try some of the tests that try to put italic. So hard to read, it's so hard to comprehend, it's so hard to look at. So that's why you made it confused to the audience. The only, the only things that we want to do the good presentations is we have to make sure the audience completely understand what you're saying and completely read all the contents that you want to convey in the presentations. So that is a dog. So don't do that. And if you try to use some of the style, like the style that I made like this, it looks nice, it looks fun, it looks um, cheerful, but as I just remind you, this is the business presentation. It's not a normal and typical presentation, so that's why we don't sacrifice the readability for style. We try to make it formal way, okay? So we don't use it. So here's just some reference for the, all of my presentations. So I hope that you understand and try to remember. I just want to mention with you, we need to be consistent from layout for layout for every slide of the business presentations. And the second thing is that we need to remember about that, sir, 
font size and the font. The font is supposed to be the Arial, Tahoma, and Veranda. And the font size for the title is supposed to be 40. The subtitle is going to be 32. The main content is going to be 24. The footer and the header is going to be 12. All right, thank you for listening. And I hope that I'm going to see you guys again in the next lesson. Thank you. Have a nice day.